everybody, welcome back to Young Adult Home Groups, and I have to say that in honor of Thanksgiving week, I am very thankful for all you guys and the home groups that we get to have. I'm thankful for my home group, although they'll never see this. I'll have to hear how thankful I am. I'll have to tell them in person. Um, so tonight, I'm sure some of your groups are maybe doing something Thanksgiving-y. And so I thought I would just continue in that theme. It's always good to think about thankfulness. And so, assume you want to get into this with your group tonight. I gave a few different things on the discussion sheets tonight that have to do with thankfulness. First, the passage in Romans 1. Famous passage, part of a longer famous passage. I was thinking about how thanklessness figures into the trouble and the tragedy really that Romans 1 is describing in the world and so I give you a couple questions to think about like question 4 how could you say based on Romans 1 that refusal to give thanks is at the root of all the problems in the world a lot of you know that I like big cosmic statements like that what's at the root of all the problems in the world but the Bible actually does sometimes give us insight into questions like that and and I think that you could say notice I said a root I didn't say the root I'm not saying it's the only thing going on but I think it's part of the problem in the world and Romans 1 gets at that even though they knew God they did not glorify him as God nor were thankful that's a powerful statement right so you can talk about that a little with some of those questions and then if you have time Switching over to two verses in the New Testament where Jesus himself is seen giving thanks. So I just gave you a couple questions about what was happening there. What does it tell us about Jesus? Why was he giving thanks? What does that show us about thankfulness and Christ's thankfulness? Question 11 is what does Jesus teach us about thankfulness in these two scenes? And how could we follow him in this? How could I follow Jesus and even his thanksgiving. And then I have a question about Colossians chapter 3, a passage there. How is thankfulness at the heart of a healthy Christian life? How is it just part of everything that's that's healthy? It really is one of those sort of root things that flavors our whole internal being. And I think you all know, times when we're not feeling particularly thankful, we usually are not the best version of ourselves, and we're certainly not the best Christian version of ourselves either if we're just feeling unthankful if we're not being thankful but when we are when God's working that in our hearts it has a way of sort of coming out in all sorts of things and putting us in a good position to actually walk in the spirit and bear the fruit of the spirit and then I at the end of the sheet give you two passages that might be you might use these passages from Colossians 1 and Isaiah 38 to actually pray together and give thanks over the things and for the things in these verses. So that is what I prepped for you. Hope you're thankful. Just joking. That is what I prepped for you and hope it hope it blesses you. <laughs> Tom just did the drum roll behind the camera. And um, I uh, hope you guys have a great time together. And Lord willing, we will be back together next Monday night in large group. And I would also like to make a pitch. A lot of you are probably already planning on going, but Wednesday night communion, our Thanksgiving communion the night before, always awesome and i'd love to see uh, all you guys there as we give thanks together in song to the lord it really is a church-wide time to come and it's just i mean the fact that the whole night is given over to just thanking and praising the lord taking communion remembering his his death his body and his blood you know it just makes it such a rich time so you're invited 7 30 in the sanctuary uh, be there and let's sing together and until the next time god bless you <laughs>